the forecast is nice we're talking about minus three a little bit of snow coming along later on cloud inversion in the morning 10 mile an hour winds perfect conditions a great start to a great <laughs> hike <laughs> up to my knees in cow flat and we're heading up to Easter Tor it's not just me and Lee I'm we'll joined with a couple of friends later Stu and Mark who shouldn't be that far behind us It's fair to say there's a lot of rain come down I haven't got gaiters on I think he chose the right equipment <laughs> I thought you had your gaiters on Why? I haven't got me flippers Oh this is deep this man <sighs> When you're gonna bump into a chivy, go by itself. Look at what a bonny thing. Oh, it's hard going up here, I'll tell you that, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. A few layers have come off now, body temperature's getting higher, sweat's coming out. So, we're having a quick little change and heading on up. Just getting to the top of that bank, I am hanging out my arse. But this man's a soldier. <laughs> so yeah, we just had confirmation of Mark and Stu. They're just over that way to the right of Easter Tor coming through the woods. So probably a little bit ahead of them. A luminous green. Uh, it's not just hunting shit. He's also going to get the pitch, the pitch hunter. So yeah, I'll be miles away from these. I like my own space. As predicted, the cloud is coming in. It is meant to raise to just over 800 meters in the morning. So it shouldn't be too bad in the morning. Let's hope it stays over that way. See a little bit of snow over there as well. Yeah, let's hope it stays over that way. We have reached the top. Lee's there, hunting the pitch. I think I'm going to go more towards that edge there, which will lead us into the, the College Valley, looking down to Hethpool. From what I've seen, I've never been myself, but I did a recce sort of on YouTube, the North Face Wanderer. Uh, check, check out some of his videos. He's really good at giving a good bit of knowledge in the hills. That's the place I want to go to. So, yeah, let's have a little look about, see what kind of pitch we can find. This is what you deal with with Lee. So, He's already got his pole down there on a, I must say, an absolutely cracking pitch, mind. But he's only brought one tent. So why is he looking over there? This is a nightmare, this trying to find a pitch. Lee is getting the best pitch up there now, mind. That one is flat, so I think I am going to choose that one. Um, oh, clouds coming in a bit now. But yeah, there's a few bits here, but it is very bumpy under the foot. More than likely, Martin Stu will be coming down here as well. So I think I'm just going to pitch mine there to be safe. Uh, provides a nice flat area and the views in the morn I'll get anyway, it's just we're not on the edge oh, That feels nice, that is a heavy bag the day and I really couldn't tell you why when you put a draw in an extra, Jesus oh, I'm really happy with this I must say, I do love this Helm 1, so easy to put up, just like the Helm 2, it's just a little bit sturdier in my eyes. Yeah, absolutely great tent. Big thanks to Mark Richardson, who supplied me his bent pole. I did cut it down to fit perfect, just a couple of sections. Absolutely great. So yeah, I'm out and about because of him. A little tip I have to give to you, is carry one each. Of your peg selection, so if you've got big long snakes, carry an extra one, your 10 peg, carry an extra one, and then I carry a little candy cane one that do come in handy in case of snap or to peg down doors and other things or uh, seats and things like that because the candy cane ones come on the box here. Carry extra pegs, they do help. Let's get so quick and feel the rain.
let's get my bag chucked in and then get the guy lines out. It keeps all my equipment dry. You already know see, I was getting pretty damp with the rain so far. The lads have arrived, they're up there, and they want to see if they can find a pitch. Stu's got his enam with him, so he wants a really flat pitch. Bit difficult around here. He might some find he might find somewhere further up. Let's get in and get set up. I'll tell you what it is, I do enjoy coming up in conditions like this. A little bit of rain comes in, but you're nice, you're cozy, and you're dry in your tent. Absolutely love it. You know, you've got all your comforts here that you brought with you. But I didn't bring a waterproof jacket. Because this wasn't meant to be snow, but it's gonna pass by, so. Hey ho. Just to take the chill off my hands, I'm cracking up open some hand warmers. There we go, give them a shake. I don't think you even need to, but it's just something I've done for years. That's that. And then rubbish goes into one of these clear bags. And it's sealable, so yeah, I'll keep that to the side. Under there. If I do have to recommend a down jacket, anyone at uh, Decathlon MT900 comfort rating or whatever you want to call it, of minus 18, so it is a bit of a beast and it does keep you warm. I like this in my Montier one, but this one is my favourite. The armpits uh, vent so what zips on them it is really nice so yeah packs in nice just pull it out and it's done and that there is the inside pocket two zips let that loft up. That's me all set up now. I'll give you a little show around. The sensor, I need to put that somewhere, somewhere else or under there, underneath here. So I've got my sit pad there, rubbish bag. So I've got all my food, my drink, I've got my chair, my tripod there, cook kit. That is my little stick table, which I may be using later on this flag and rain jumps away. So yeah, just the usual if you've been here before, but if you haven't, We've got the big Agnes pad, Alpine Dream 800 sleeping bag, the Cathlon, down jacket, I've got my sleep kit within there, and then my gloves, electronics, sit down here. So yeah, I'm going to go and see Lee now, see how he's getting on. As you can hear, it's raining, but the weather is meant to be snow on top of the Cheviot. This is about 300 metres lower. You'll not be able to see, but yeah. Nice bit of rain. It's like it's still six o'clock, it currently is coming up to five, so another an hour or so, it will fade away. Yeah. Got the leak dry waterproof hat on, I didn't bring a waterproof jacket, so it isn't meant to sort of rain, so yeah, good job this thing is keeping me dry. I'm trying to chill out, have a few snacks, and just wait it out really. Finally, it's let off a little bit, so let's go and see the lads. We have Mr. Holgarth in his tent, where's he hiding and what doors are you using? Oh yeah. Here he is here. Oh, and there's the other two lads there. How are they? Open up. Here he is. There he is. Hello, mate. I'm wrapped up in the bloody hood, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks bad. It's just so I'm playing my phone. <laughs> yeah, you all set up, eh? Look how snug that is in there. I've got this little mat here, so that obviously I keep on this one. Be proper thing and rest, and then obviously I can just chill on this one, because there's a bit of a bump there. But yeah. Oh, these yeah. cloud peaks are good for a room mine. I'm a bit jealous, I tell you that. <laughs> all these gear here. What, you got near the door? You're bagging that? I have my cook kit, not the bags there. Bagging that's oh, this yeah. side. And then the other side, I've got uh, all my cook set up. Yeah, not bad, eh? So I'll just be sitting here with the cooking soon. Get myself warmed up. Tempted right. to make a brew, but I, didn't th I think I should have brought more water. Yeah, I'm just uh, getting my hands a little bit warm now and I'm going to check out their setups over there. Are you popping out or not? Uh, not just yet. 
bad these two are posh and hilly bergs mine aren't they <laughs> absolutely spoiled well it's because it's because it's, it's down and i'm paranoid so it's in a waterproof bag and a waterproof bag and a carry <laughs> oh. i see so that is that there that's what comes in i mean you get the lofting bag with it as well Aye. but it comes with a compression bag i mean it'll so how much does it push doing from there uh, a little bit more you, you can get it down more than that you know it's foggy when you lose your tent early so we're all gonna go in now and get some food a little bit wet Just off the cloud, eh? I mean, look at the visibility. Wow. You could see Yver and Bell before over that direction, and there was someone on it, so whether the wild camp or not, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in the morning. We just had a little bit of a crack on me and the lads here. Uh, Lee's been looking at Mark's uh, Alpkit Pipe Dream 6 with a sleeping bag because he's wanting to get one of them. So he's checking that out. He's probably going to have a look later when it lofts up. So it's nice to see people's equipment in use to get a good little review of them before buying stuff. I'm not sure as much of my equipment as I can and it helps people like yourself and that's what I want to do. It is absolutely bitter out there so I'm going to get myself sorted into my nightwear. So get all this clothing off, get my base layers on, get my down jacket on, get my socks changed. It's your feet you feel like you're most in the winter or anything so yeah get these socks changed and get into some nice dry clothing some warm clothing that's me sorted in my down jacket in my nightwear little base layer there i've got my down gloves there and i've got my montane mask the last twice i've been out i did two days in a row so i was out for three days two camps and the wind chill really bit into my face i feel it quite a lot to be honest with you and um, my skin was really red so there was more of a frost chill shall i say so yeah i'm gonna give that a try the night whether it feels claustrophobic or not but it has got a, a nice little piece on the front there for your nose uh, a bit of prima loft there for your ears and a mouthpiece but i'll protect your skin a bit it just it takes a few days to get a background your nose and cheeks hurt quite a bit when it's sub-zero temperatures which I've been doing a lot of lately, so so that's like. Uh, got me down boots on, merino wool socks there on as well. Yeah, nature hike. I do recommend them. So I'll put a link in the description of the nature hike boots um, and the gloves. AliExpress for all the little bits and bobs like that. You know, your titanium mugs, your spokes, your BRS stoves. You can get them as well, pretty cheap now. So go and check them all out. Well, I've got it's not expensive nice good budget gear um, and they're proven by a lot of people you will see out there on youtube and instagram so yeah things don't have to cost the earth and they are really good the down pants i haven't got them with me i think they were about 50 pound when i got them um, but yeah check them out they do add a lot of heat to your legs stew french um, i didn't actually record it i went out for a bit of a hike and he put them on didn't have a sleeping bag and he slept for five hours on them and he said they made a massive difference and he's been the real tester of the down pants so far so yeah aliexpress get yourself on there shout out some of your stuff they can buy cheaply uh, and pretty quickly it's time to get the tea on tonight i'm having for this from b&m pasta pronto it is tomato and basil as you can see in the bottom of there it's already got the sauce in so Sort of like a boil in the bag, and um, that's how I've used them before. So we put that in, and I've got some other little bits of crisps and that, and some beers. So yeah, let's get the the stove fired up. Just warm enough to be honest with you. Could have had it longer. That was on five minutes of the boil, so maybe seven next time. Mm -hmm. Two hundred eighty-two calories. Yep, yeah. I'm back in the van. I'm fed. Really enjoyed it. Plenty of food in us. I just need water now, so 
I'm gonna grab a couple of beers, take a pack of sweets, go and see the lads, have a little bit of a catch up. The rain stopped. Time to head up. Go and see Lee first. I can see a little bit of light up there. He probably can't really make that out. Then head over and see the guys. But yeah, it's just in the cloud now. You can sort of see it coming in there from a head torch. It's not too bad. I need to find the easy path going up here. I lost it before. You know, it's so dense the cloud. It, it's amazing how easy it leaves stuff. So I'm gonna leave the inside of me light on, so it's easy identification when I come back down. Had a bit of a kitchen nightmare, like. Yes, tell me and the viewers about it. Come on, open up and show us. Oh, so well, what's going on, Lee? I've got a bit of air mesner on. I've just watched TV at outdoors there. Eh? So what was your nightmare? Rice pudding in ya. Well, oh. this is the first time I've used these. All right. And I've I done what I said. Then I filled it up too much with too much air. Couldn't get me pot. Took 20 minutes to get hot. <laughs> so yeah. So, they all really good items, Em. Uh, how much does it cost you, Lee, overall and to have your tea, you reckon? So we're going to food, and how much were you going to pay the other day for two? Seven fifty. So a massive saving in the long run. For your right. Foil packets and a heat sealer. Oh, definitely worth it, like. And I'll probably yeah. never buy this a meal toasting. again. Rice pudding with jam. Yeah. Probably never buy meals again. Um, sorry, Lee, I've never bought one in a long time to be honest with you, but yeah, divine. Well, you might see the steam coming in there. Yeah. Well, all I've I done was opened it, squeezed all the air out, rammed it in, held the lid shut. Uh, but I've got a full tin in here, and then I had a full tin of curry and a full tin of rice. It's better here than where he does at home, the same <laughs> with me. So I, I've got a couple of tins, Lee's gonna eat that, and then I'll see him outside. So head over and see the lads. And we've got Stuart over here. Hello. Have you had your meal? I have a shite. What did you have? <laughs> um, see the summer. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee Mark's over here, I'm gonna see he's having a wayfarer. I'm gonna see he's had a chicken tikka. Close. It wasn't a it wasn't a chicken uh, it wasn't a wayfarer chicken tikka, it was a summer to eat chicken tikka. It wasn't far away, was it? It was beautiful. What I've got for me breakfast in the morning is a uh, steak veggies and dumplings from the steak detective. No, Absolutely love these things. That does sound very nice uh, from one or two. Four nice little dumplings in. They're a little bit heavier because it's a wet meal. But it's worth the effort. Yeah. Lovely. And my theory is if you get the dry meals, you've still got to carry the water so to me it works out the same anyway, doesn't it? It does I. Yeah. That's just really tasty though. It's not <laughs> rehydrated flour that it's actually real. <laughs> real food. I'm gonna have to try one. I'll make me own as usual. Good idea. Yeah, Mark's out in the Hedyberg again. Trying to need set up. Just getting tidied up. Gonna come out and get some fresh air. Nice little bit of a natter on there with the lads and a few beers. You can't really see now the clouds come back in, but it did open up before. Got a few lights here come from the valley below and across. I had Lee looking at me 10 before. I think he's wanting to change his tent. He's got the cloud peak too. He does like it for the room, don't get me wrong. But on the top of it, so on the top of the cloud peak too, in this area here, he has a big vent. It's only been a little bit breezy, but it's not watering and he's not happy so. I've got this, I've got the panacea too as well. So he's just he's just having a look at it, you know, for space. Looking at the sleeping bag as well. He's gonna be purchasing the same one as Mark, which is uh, 600. I've got the 800, so he's just having a look, look at things like that. As he wants to upgrade a few little bits. Stew's in his tent, he never came out. Uh, he's fighting the cold a little bit with his feet, so he's wrapped up nice and warm. But we've all retreated now, so. Mark's gone back to his and we've got Lee back in here, so I'm gonna head into mine, get myself a hot chocolate on the go, chill out, and have a little catch up on YouTube. I haven't even gotten any kit yet. I've just been sitting here taking it in, really. It's nice and calm now. Just sitting, chilling it out. My head just touches the top there, but I am on the big Agnes Rapide mat for you. It, it does make a bit of a difference, to be honest with you. It'd have been higher, but I, I'm six foot two. Yeah, and sit up. I'm happy with this anyway, really happy. Just slowly getting on to be honest, we've got plenty of time, it's early days, it's 20 past 9 so not too bad. The time lapse of this, you'll see the snow on the road, that's apparently all cut off now, it got worse, so I headed the right way like. Good morning, not a bad night's sleep again, lovely and warm in the sleeping bag. 
temperature's got down to bang on zero. It's currently sitting at one degrees now. It's nice and calm. We had a little flurry of air. A rain or something before. I don't know what it was, but stop now, please, because it wasn't forecast. But the conditions are calm out there. I'll spin you around, I'll show you. The sun hasn't come up yet. We've still got half an hour to that. I always like getting a little bit early just to see it and even capture on it. So yeah, let's have a little look outside. Yeah, not bad this morning, nice and clear. So we'll wait on for that sun to rise. In the meantime, I think I'll get myself sorted. Mary's have myself a little hot chocolate as well. Hopefully it's a nice sunrise. <laughs> I don't think that sunrise is going to happen. I think, it's, I think it's just a bit too murky to be honest with you. Uh, there's a lot settling but when that sun comes up I know it'll lift it all the way. I was hoping for a little cloud inversion. But that's not happening. But yeah, At least it's clear and we're not sitting in the clag air. Well, no one's up. But I've just popped out to have a little bit of a look. So the sunrise is going to be happening in that direction. Um, hopefully it comes up and gives us a bit more light. So yeah, let's head back in, get a hot chocolate, get warmed up. I don't know if this is just a northeast thing, but Rinkton's hot chocolates. We have the van coming locally around the, where we live, so we'll get things. But yeah, the hot chocolates are lovely. So I'm having one of them. Can't beat the Rinkton's, can you? The biscuits and everything. Beautiful. So yeah, just having a little hot chocolate, checking out the views, watching it get a little bit clearer. Mark's up there now, he's having his steak and dumplings for breakfast. Couldn't tell you where Lee and Stu are. So yeah, I'm just going to have this. I've got myself a Galaxy Caramel hot chocolate there, so I think that there will melt lovely within this. Uh, and then a little bit of a tidy up. And maybe it's a little bit of a uh, sort of a pack down as well. But steady away this morning, there's no hurry, and that's what I like. Uh, I'll let you enjoy it, especially with the darker nights. It is getting darker, so when you get here, you usually set up and you miss, or should I say, you miss the light or you don't get much light. So it's nice to have it all back in the morning and take your time and sort of look at your view or what you didn't get. So yeah, steady on. Let's see if it works, eh? Mm, it certainly does. You can't all feel the heat difference in them downwards, mind. A major hike. Got a bit of a harder bottom, I don't use them outside, but wow. What a difference, so thin. I mean, that's a pack for both of them. Yeah, really good. Another AliExpress bargain. Yeah, just put them on, on top of me. My socks last night to keep yourself warm. Uh, to warm my feet up when I left them on, to be honest. And there's only two layers I'd ever put on, that'll be them, but yeah. A good purchase. Especially in this winter. And look, there's just stuff under there. Yeah, the gloves are even smaller than that. Light is out. A little bit of sun has now came up. Also see it on the hills over this way. Just lighten up the valley a little bit. So that's slowly gonna rise a little bit higher, providing us with a little bit more light. I'm all dressed now anyway, head the toe. So I've been using Leak Dry's Merino Wool Waterproof Range recently, and it's had quite a bit of use for myself. So a lot of wild camps, a lot of hikes, so I want to take this time to give you a little bit of a run through of the equipment and a little bit of a review based on using it. So first of all we've got the Leak Dry Merino Wool Gloves, waterproof, nice grip pads on there. You've also got touch sensitive fingertips for your phones and other equipment and it is really good. One touch and it works, not like other gloves where you're continually tapping them. Um, they don't absorb water, they don't hold them within the fabric which is good, uh, a lot of other ones do hold them, make them heavy and cold, so yeah the merino wool does take that away from you as well, so yeah highly recommended them, uh, great grips on your walking poles and things like that. Next one is the fleece line beanie, 
absolutely cracking from the rain when it's sitting you on the head not too much material to absorb it whether it being waterproof it keeps you nice and warm as well I've slept in it last night absolutely great so yeah I've had quite a few good uses of this um, it was something that I thought I'd just sleep in but I'm, I'm taking it everywhere next one are the socks so these are a calf sock merino layered inside Marine, nice merino base um, size 10 UK perfect fit to be honest with you absolutely great um, these have had quite a bit of use especially when them being a calf size they are better than the normal for the winter I'd say as when you've got your boots on they may be waterproof but when you get to that river which I've had quite a few times you can walk through them as though you've got wellies on to a point best thing I like about them and not just the waterproof is the merino how they've sort of combined it with a waterproof is when you go on, on a hike and you get sweaty feet usually you take your socks off and your feet are damp I haven't experienced it yet where these merino is wicking away all the sweat so my feet are always dry so whenever I take them off to put my night socks on I haven't got to worry about drying damp socks out so the merino really does work well with all the equipment especially the socks so yeah so thumbs up from me go check them out I'll tell you what it is that wind chill there's no get your fingers oh. Oh my god, absolutely bitter. I always bring out three packs of hand warmers with us. I get very, I get very cold hands. Um, a set for walking, a set for maybe it's later on that night, and a set for in the morning. So yeah, very handy. Lee has now a rose, and look at he's awake. Good morning. Good night's sleep. Terrible. Terrible. Lee's coming down now. I've just seen him do it, so I want to do mine. So time to get back down, get everything put away on my bag, and that's us done up here. So yeah, let's get back up. The inside's now empty. All the contents from my bag. Lee's just taking his down there now. So it's time to get this down and get it packed away. As always leave no trace that is where I was pitched nice flat area I believe someone's camped here before I uh, found that off Lee before it was a little bit breezy a little bit windy up there and I never got any of it last night so yeah a nice little spot there you are tucked away from the edge uh, Lee did all the better views but yeah everything's all checked no pegs nothing left absolutely great so yeah let's head on up to see Lee so Lee's pitch a good pitch I say Look at the views from here. We have a cheevy at the end of the snow, hedge hope. So, yeah, good night to keep. Leave no trace. Nice and fresh. That's us finishing our camp and heading down. Been a great camp, the weather. As predicted, it's been about right, hasn't it? To be honest with you, uh, apart from the rain coming instead of the snow, um, conditions were about right throughout the whole night. To be honest with you, oh, that rain was a bit of a stitcher. <laughs> when, when we came, we didn't we didn't bring any waterproofs because it wasn't forecast for rain. Stupidly, but managed to get the tents pitched, get in the tent, a while in the tent until it cleared up. But then after that, fine. But I think I definitely need to upgrade some of my kit. I need 
a good winter sleeping bag um, and your new pair of boots and definitely bring some little insoles in there uh, I think insoles, a cold feet thing is, is horrible we were talking about last night um, either a wool liner inside or the heated insoles that Lee said so it's, I think it's just standing still it's just the cold literally going through you're not moving about uh, it's just I think that's the only thing that really gets you to be honest with you mm -hmm. but apart from that it's been a great camp um, loving the winter conditions just getting a bit sick of them because I can't wait for the summer for the light mornings and the light nights really on the same hand it is nice just to chill and watch a bit of YouTube <laughs> in the tent and just cosy nah the wind's blowing inside true. a bit it's nice and cosy it's good to get out uh, just to be in the middle of nowhere a bit of fresh air uh, seeing gliders this morning and things like that you never experienced them from your front door you really do to be honest with you so aye a good camp overall and as always See you on the next one.